Summer Olympics are coming up in June, and this year they are being held in the city of light. Before people from all over the world, though, get to Paris, mm. transportation and sanitation problems are already casting a shadow over these games. At one point, there was a push to bring the 2024 Olympics to sure. Boston. Remember that? And now WBZ's political analyst John Keller breaks down the challenges for the Olympic hosts. They're lighting the Olympic torch and counting down the days until the start of Paris's big celebration, or should we say their big mistake instead. With less than 100 days to go, the list of concerns about the Paris games includes public transit is still not ready, public workers are threatening strikes, there are complaints about displacement of the homeless, authorities are seizing student housing to accommodate visitors, ticket costs are sky high, and the famous booksellers along the Seine are angry about being moved to accommodate opening ceremonies. Thank goodness it's not us. For Chris Dempsey, an organizer of the protests that killed plans to bring the summer games here, Paris's woes evoke feelings of relief and vindication. And I remember certain politicians saying in 2015 that this was going to be the way we were going to fix the T, is throwing a $15 billion through the party for the international elite. We are longing for something that brings us together. What about those promises of groovy Olympic vibes? With war raging in Ukraine and the Middle East, the Paris Games may be more a showcase of discord than a show of global unity, a security nightmare of Olympic proportions. You could see in the polling that the public just said, this is not worth it. I think there are literally millions of people in Paris that are feeling exactly the same way right now, but unfortunately they went down that path. So, John, what does all of this say about the future of the Olympic Games? Well, look, Paul, as long as there's money to be made, there will be Olympic Games. Uh, but Boston's backlash here has been part of a global mm. backlash against the Games, the expense, the hassle. Paris and Los Angeles, which host the next two summer games, were the only remaining bidders, so they had to give them to them. And the 2030 Winter Games, there's only one bidder in the French Alps. So, uh, you know, here in Boston, what can I say? We're out in the cold. We'll have to settle for the marathon, the uh, the World Cup in two That's years, right. March Madness, NBA and Stanley Cup Finals. Fourth uh, of July on the Esplanade. Yeah, that will make us happy. It's, it's brutal, <laughs> but we'll make it through, I guarantee you. <laughs> John Keller, thanks so much. Lisa? So much to enjoy already. Thanks, John. <laughs> thanks.